The encounter rate's not gonna let up at all. Oh, replica got up. So yeah, now we're gonna put another point into Azuna, which is gonna make it cost two again. But I'm at least assuming that I'm, uh, Izuna getting a higher level actually um, uh, gives a higher chance to instant kill as well as the damage as well uh, on skill use. Or at least more damage? Yeah. Alias leveled up as well, which means I believe that Rush is now done at five points. So instead of being, it just now cost one more point to use. Next though, it's two to five instead of two to four. It's just one more use. Or one more possible hit. All right, here we are. Four. And I want to get to that chest right there that I just did not get to. That's going to be a bit of a hike. What? I oh, wait. I think Angelo mentioned it before. Rush can only hit enemies once, right? Ah. Uh, I wish I could hit the same target multiple times. That'd be so nice. That's rough. Yeah, it's still a good skill to use on random mobs, and I hate you. I fucking hate this thing. Thank God. Alright. Rev Jr. That one is a Sudian, I believe. Hold on. So level 14, that was shield. Shield mastery, all right. Next will be line guard. I'm gonna have to find this thing whether I like it or not, I'm pretty sure, so let's just go. Alright, at least we get the frames of attack this time. 
I know it's weak to electricity and all kinds of vines. But also, it cannot be panicked like, at all. I'm not going to use guard tactic just yet. Break it down as much as we can. Bridget, you missed. You missed when we didn't want you to miss. How's it going, go through all the go? How the uh, we're doing all right ish for the moment. I should have lowered his defense. I should have lowered his defense more. There was the rest of my team's use of the things for a while. Well, at least you're good here, line guard. Okay, it's no longer leg binded. The accuracy is rough. You would definitely want points in a proper form soon, uh, on them sooner rather than later. I would, but they're the problem. All the all the characters are viewer-made ones, and they tell me where to put the points. We'll make it work. Which means even if I want something else on Bridget, I will follow the path that is given to me by the viewer. You gotta convince them, unfortunately. They're putting all in a giant kill and these things more than anything else. How perform is this apparently? The passive skill. And it's just accuracy up. And I don't think Solar Gem is here. So we're kind of just stuck with what they gave me last time. Can you believe she's slower than our tank? Yes. I definitely can. So we got that chest right there. And I believe this area has now been swept for everything that we could get from it. Aside here, because that's the boss, but... I think... I think that's everything. Aside this door, which is a moon door, so I cannot check what's past here. So now it's just a matter of... Do I think I can beat the boss? And the answer is... Unequivocally, no. I do not feel like I have... Nearly, why the hell did you come over here? Nearly enough, like, level or even stats to be able to beat it. Please, Mr. Kill it. Damn it.
How are you sure not a catfish than a fish cat? Mm. One can never be sure. We just hope that we are correct. And wait, why am I coming to camp? No, fuck that. We're pretty much gonna be wandering around killing things until we are like actually am uh, gonna have to thread out here soon. Yeah, I should go back if we're gonna, like, if we're gonna try and get any more of the slugs done like that. Especially with this fucking snake not even being something we can drop, but also just one who refuses to drop their conditional that much. There's a slug. Not, not guaranteeing this makes you very irritated. It does. It actively does. It hurts. It, it's going to hurt even more when we do it and there is a boss in play. Like, that's what scares me so much. Wait, you're right. Your main attack, your main one is now also Volt. So I don't need to use my uh, bridges and elemental bullets anymore. No more MP at the very least, yeah. For some reason, on those ones, I just get all the conditional drop, or the conditional drop, and the one from the cats as well. I can understand this game sometimes. Oh, dear God. Are you... Oh, no. No. There we go. I'm going to use a guard tactic. I can't use Wolf's Howl either.
Yeah, that's kind of depressing that Bridget is generally the last one to act in the party. Now we're in the range that we can maybe do this. Like that. Slow and clumsy and dang, do they hit hard. When they hit, yes, they hit pretty hard. We have enough for a couple more fights, but not many. Oh god, we were blindsided. Thankfully, actually, wasn't that bad. You're gonna have enough to survive because you have increased defense right now. Yeah. Now it's off though, so now we should be careful. Let's do increase it again immediately. Never mind, good. Remember one bite off of the instant kill? Good time. No, it was not a good time ever. It was never a good time. It was fucking pain and suffering. We got maybe one more uh, heal on us and that's it. That sounds like a terrible idea. What? Okay, now everyone defend. Oh, not you. There we go. Until you see the damage of the front mortar does, I don't think I can survive enough to do that. In order to have the points to. But now that you've brought up a skill name, I want to see, what is that? Pierce damage to one enemy. More effective from the front row. I do not know. I mean, it's toward the end. So for all I know, this actually... It could have been gotten by now, actually. Funny enough, if we had just not put points into, like, strafe or these elemental stuff... We could have gotten heavy shot, uh, heavy shot to five, and then gotten at least one front mortar. Three hundred and eighty-two percent damage in the front and eighty-five in the back. Oh dear God! Have to work out if he's joking or not. <laughs> That's the insanity of just EO. I feel like in general, sometimes you're like. Do this weird team, like why? Because it's fucking funny when it works. Defend aside you. 
There we go. What's the inventory looking like? 49 out of 60. I have plenty more space. But I don't have plenty more healing. Extremely big numbers. I guess the difference is going to be in um, uh, how big the numbers actually are. Like, extremely big numbers in the early game could be nothing in the mid to late game. At four, after four in front order, you have a chance to get this. When using skills, target one enemy, my number of hits may rise. Huh. This is basically the double action thing. Yeah, multi-shot. Double action from Etron Odyssey Nexus. Ah. This is it. and see how much we have and maybe try the boss just to see because I I want to say we're not but oftentimes when we've actually beaten bosses it's been like weirdly okay <laughs> like we had some actual good luck in it Arisio Suma Skomata Poison what? Is that one now? Probably not, but we'll still try. What is that? It is a 28 armored. I'm a. Just. That. Nothing else. Wait, what? Fuck. I need a hippo tusk. And I'm pretty sure I know where to get that. Poisons all enemies. Great. Can we kill them? We've never killed a hippo. Not once. Or at least not in this game. I don't know why I went back to like, oh, we need to save first, but no. When you're rested, it already saves. Let me just go, please. I want to. I want to go to my death and just pick the hippo. Okay, 
God damn it. In regard to the legit action. Yes, I know. I know, it's just... When they wind up, of course guard. I will always be scared, though. Alright, it is this floor, right? I don't think it was this floor. The, this... No, it is this floor, because this right here is a hippo. to face our fears. Guard tactic. Smack it. Smack as much as we can. Lower its defense. We know nothing about it still. Big damage, hopefully. Maybe bind its legs. to unleash something big here, so. Alright, now we gotta defend, because it's about to ram, I think. up just in case as well. Get the line guard. You still have three in, uh, turns of that, so... Start attacking. Keep trying to leg bind. You fucking... Getting ready to unleash a deadly attack, so now we defend again. Someone in the front one's gonna get hit, and I do not know who. The hoplite's doing on, um, uh, what's it called? All right, Sudian. Wait. I may be very stupid, but is it just me, or did the enemy attack before Reb Jr. defended? Because that's very concerning. <laughs> now you defend first, because that... I, I thought I read that wrong. Like, wait a second. Yes, that can happen. <laughs> oh, no. I keep the provoke going. And keep the defense down. You know what? He's only been attacking Reb Jr., so I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be risky and stupid at the same time. Defend, defend. Alias can keep attacking. And then he's gonna charge up this turn. Never gonna like bind it. One more turn on provoke. Uh, 
unfortunately, I should have up re upped it last turn, I think. If I do this, he's gonna take full damage. Oh boy. Wait, what? they're the AoE one. Fuck. Necromancy. Get Provoke again. Alright, line heal. Defend. down. So why not Izuna? Honestly, I should. I just want to hope that if I leg bind, he will not be able to charge or anything like that. We still have our charge from the first use. It's not gone down yet, so... Plus the damage difference, I don't think it's actually that big. Alright, the attack last turn, so it might charge now. Might, but it might also just randomly change it up, so I'm gonna hold off on fully defending. There we go. We got one Hippo Tusk. Easy. So a small write-up for the fight. Hippo has two attacks, charge and crush. Hit with a splash damage. So optional positioning is have the tank on one side with provoke, but yeah. This guy, the latest test on how we survive in armor's damage, because they're on the same damage as charge basic attack, just with more true AoE options. Also check the distance. Let's see. Not that. Wait, how do I check his resistances? Uh. Only to not just ah. All right. Good a time as any. Weak to poison and fire and resistance to leg binds, arm binds, and head binds. That's why we were getting nothing. A thousand HP, 20 attack, and 18 defense. Wait, what? Luck? <sighs> no. No. No, this thing does not have an additional fucking drop. It's a 1% chance. Yeah, I've heard so much about Lucky Hammer at this point that, yeah, it's the best thing ever. I'll just never get it. It. 
All right, sell it all, and what do we get? And a play what? What is that? I don't know what that status ailment is. than accept can spread between party members. That is awful. That is fucking awful. Very few things use flex. I don't worry about it too much. You see, I hear that every now and then, and they're like, it's very few things that use it. Well, then what uses it? All the major bosses, or something like that. So it's like very few things, but the few things are always going to be in your way. <laughs> so that scares me. And there's a party that wants to just get at least one or two poison gas some, uh, items just to, like, use sometimes. Because I've seen a couple of things now that are weak to poison, and just, like, passive damage is always good. Alright, what is this? A powerful hammer made from the teeth of a stubborn hippopotamus. It's two hits and 55 attack. The monk's book is two tech. And this would give him <laughs> randomly as much attack as like some of our other units and actually hmm you could also wear this as well she can't reuse rush for the hammer though you're right Though also my love for Rush has gone down considerably with the knowledge that I can only hit enemies once. I have the worst luck with hammers hit chance. <laughs> Your opinion of Rush will improve, I guarantee it. I... We can give that club Volt can we? I don't know if we can, because they might need another... Oh, if we kill another hippo. That's right, we have to kill another hippo so we can get its item and then do that. Also, wait a second. Do we have no other weapon for you? I think that actually is the best weapon that you can get at the moment, Replica. And that's kind of disheartening. You wouldn't uh, have to see Plague only once during this dungeon combo enemies that like like the devil and fangfish if allowed to get them uh, it off they do an air weave last to call this plague I was hoping you would somehow let it happen dude your butt mashing but the durians are so weak you always just randomly kill it yeah the power ring for a tech ring you think so why tech, actually?
Oh, tech and luck of her statuses. Gotcha. If you're going all in, all in on statuses for that, then I can understand that, actually. get it to 21. By killing a random... I... D no, we can't randomly kill foes. That doesn't work. That shit never works. Trying to do it reliably sounds crazy. and will are very different things, though. Let the record always show that. I got my three threads now. You like slamming your head against a wall. I, I don't like doing it. It's just often the most effective strategy available. The chances are terrible, but they are there. Yeah, I remember. I know. I know. Like, I think the one thing that made me realize and come to try to do it more than I should was a Nexus. There was this one... I forget what enemy it was. But a viewer requested a farmer, so we had a farmer in the main team. And this foe just randomly watched still at, like, a, a nearly full HP. I want to say, like, maybe 90-80%. We just try the farmer's instant kill move and it killed it. It was a freak of an accident, 1% chance or whatever to happen. And we did it consistently against the foe and some other enemies on that floor. And it just gave me the idea of I could do it everywhere. But then it never really worked again. It was just sort of a hilarious moment. We got it on a fused cocky capacitor. Is that what it was called? Probably. You remember things better than I do. Hold on, do I have how many? I have two tents, I think we're fine. I don't have good luck. What are you talking about, Demon Eradicate? I have nothing but bad luck, at all times. Oh, come on. there. For this floor, we pretty much have to get encountered, I think. Yeah, no, there's, there's one. Good. Alright, now we can just auto, because as long as this thing does not die first, 
we don't have to worry about the death rattle. We're always going to get in one fight before we fight this thing. just on Reb Jr., so I don't use TP yet. Alright, so we gotta get behind this thing. First off, to get a... to get any ideas. Wait, what? Wait, this is the... You sneaky fox! I'm Rita. All right, sure. There is a way to make a temporary save, yeah. And technically, if you want, you could find out where the temporary save is stored on your computer and use that to, like, just cheese random stuff. Wait, no, I needed to, like, look over here, right? if I want, I could make a save right here, find out where it is on my computer, and then make a copy of it so I could constantly try the boss again and again here. But I don't know if that's in the spirit of EO. And I feel like we gotta just keep trying. We just gotta keep going until it works. Thankfully, we uh, preemptive attack, so I can use buffs and everything else that I would want on this. Provoke. And as Ansel mentions it, I will try Berserk Vow, even though I do not think it's that good.
Actually, don't do it yet, because we don't... Actually, no, fuck it. Do it because then we hope to charge up faster a little bit. Of course you miss. the biggest damage to the game, but I hate the downside so much I never use it. It's all Angelo uses. Actually, wait, doesn't that mean that limit will now hit more? The thing is, does it combine charge of berserk limit as a thing? But does Charge and Berserk both from a cut stack up to deal more damage or no? I'm gonna try it. Wait, hold on. What's my current thing? We still have provoke for two turns. One turn of line guard here. All right, now limit. I'm still Berserk Vow. The limit's still being used, so we're going to go for that. Let's see how much this purported damage boost actually is. Oh. I believe you a little bit more now. I believe you a little bit more. Now we need to provoke to make sure we don't lose that. That is level one berserk, you are correct. Use a line heal, actually. <laughs> because we're about to hurt ourselves. Actually, hold on. I'm going to hold back on Bridget because we can use the AoE attack when this thing I'm going to become some uh, multiple puddles. Ow, ow, ow. No, 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 no. Alright, charge and then we're gonna attack. I almost wanna heal on top of that right now. I'm scared of another if another one happens. Yeah. Right, another line heal. We have still have one more of Guard Tackle, which is actually the reason we're taking even less damage right now than we should. Alright, we've done Berserk Vow Charge, so... Oh boy! Oh, 
I'm using another Medica, because fuck it. There's that. I'm going to take this chance to up our Berserk again. Hold on, actually. Wolf Howl is guaranteed to hit one of them. The right one. So much time cycling through on your damage rotation and constantly draining your HP while you do. <laughs> you can cast it a couple times in a row, yeah, if you wanted. Oh, we hit it. Shit. All right, Replica was good on the guess. Provoke is on again. We wolfed out to reduce its defense. Charge. Guard tactic, healer. We already have our limits in place, technically. I don't know where it says it, but uh, Reb Jr. should already have the one time no die thing. So, I wish there was a marker for that somewhere. the heal. Provoke is almost done, so I will probably let... Uh, I'm gonna re-up that. Alright, considering our limit is about to come up, I'm probably gonna Berserk Vow right now. And then charge next turn as well after that. <laughs> that shit's happening again. Charge. We can't do it anyways while we have our blinds. Don't let her die. Yep. I cannot line heal, though. Your defense down already wore off, though. 
Next time we turn it into the multiple puddles, I'm going to spend some time getting some TP back on certain people. Forty-one. All right. All right. I have an Amrita right here. Let's give it to. I actually think Rev Jr. because I can get, I can use that to mitigate Gus's um, uh, duties for a little bit here. What? Wait! Does it you thought Narmer had escaped? More creatures suddenly appear around about the chamber. It occurs um, uh, to you that if you allow the beast fish to flee. Its wounds may heal. You may pursue the wounded fish or retreat to attend to your own wounds. Ah. So if I leave right now, so if I leave this room right here, even if I go to the side ones, he will reset? Ah. No, floor. Oh, okay. So yeah, going back to do a tent is actually what we want to do then. Sucks I use an Amrita right when we were about to apparently get kicked out of this whole thing. So I need to find out where the... Where the guy went. Yeah, that one's him. Why is Gus's TP not at max? Tenth restore fifty. You. Mm. 
Not a full heal bastard. I only have one more Amarita. Fuck it, the healer needs their TP, it's important. Alright, once again, we got a preemptive. Yeah, we just need better accuracy, honestly. Round two. Don't use it yet, actually. I'm gonna learn a little bit here. And... All right, now we want guard tactic. Use an to have that st on the stack ready. <laughs> Charge. Seventy-five is still very good. I think that was a crit, though. That's why we hurt a little bit extra there. Actually, no, hold on. Provoke is about to end, and so make sure we top that up. We'll do one attack here, and then we're going to go through the motions for that, because I think our limit's about to come up. And if I use it with my Brigid... The damage boost does not come from uh, Alias's things, right? Because if I use him, uh, if I Berserker Vow and charge on Alias, if Bridget uses it, it does not count as their attack. Only I act on trying to use. Oh. Let's see what you can do with it. Fancy. All right, now you're going to... Gotcha. We have one turn to burn, so let's just do it. I don't even need to attack right now, technically. So I'm actually going to get provoked to last longer here, then. Berserk Vow. Actually, if I'm going to Berserk Vow, then heal you. You don't really want to you do anything in case you hit the right one. Same with you, sort of. Submerge move. So they're just moving around right now. We have, I want to say, one or two more turns left. So now I'm going to try to fish him out. Because we have Berserk Foul. We don't have Charge yet. So I'm going to Wolf's Howl since we're about to fish him out. Rest has a chance to get all of them, but it won't. It 
it's the left one. We socketed the debuff, landed. That's one way to tell. All right, now we're going to charge. It's up, it has defense down. And next turn, we're doing it. Fuck! That's the one thing I didn't want you to do. We're going to risk it. I only have one Medica. Medora, what's that? Oh, that's actually better. Shit. Yeah, do that. I forgot that was an item. Rev Junior, that time to actually defend the front line. Oh my god, that was a lot of hits. You still provoke? I'm gonna defend rather than front line right here just to try and reduce some damage on you a little bit more. Might want to use an item just so that way it's not as close right now for HP on Reb Jr. I'm going to just try to be extra cautious right now. Yep, that's why... can line guard. We already charged, so now attack. Oh god, oh god. We're almost there. I do not have any more focused HP stuff. I'm going to have to just rely on... Uh... We're going to have to rely on the, what's it called? <coughs> I think just their not dying once thing, right? Or I can use the Hamao and trust that to do like maybe 50, 70 HP, and that might be enough. We're close. I want everyone to get a, uh, the experience. I'll use it. Oh, are you gonna dive? Fuck. God damn it. Yeah, we stored the formaldehyde, but right now we actually would have had the chance to maybe do it. That's what's funny. 
and disappointing. I don't know why you can bring up the map. Alright, re up provoke. We have done. Uh, hold on. Line heal. Provoke. We've done a charge already. It's stored, so Berserk Val. Defend. Defend for the moment. Fuck, you did it first that time. One more provoke. Wolf's how to find it. And this will hit anyways. Fourth one. Alright, now I'll just go for some bigger damage right now. Got it. Everyone but Rev Jr. leveled up. God damn it. We discovered an armor. After a bitter struggle, you um, uh, you at last claim victory over Narmer. As you let the victory um, uh, soothe your aching muscles, Hepati and the mushroom, uh, mushroom, I was about to say no, Murutsumi Guild rushes in. You're amazing, each and every one. I can't believe you be bested Narmer, and you group did nothing at all. The ghost surprise um, uh, gaze shifts back and forth between you and the downed fish's carcass. From behind, um, uh, the awestruck stargate that comes a boy a boy's voice speaking in un un unctuous tones. Thanks. Now we can all go down into the second stratum. The fresh-faced ninja walks off, leading the girl by the hand while babbling enthusiastically. Come on, we got to get back to Amarod and get our stuff together to go deeper. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna challenge the unknown. Hope to see you guys there. With that, the two used an Ari Ariadne thread to return to Amarod. You're free to return as well to report your momentous achievement or remain here. Aww, the foes disappeared. Damn it. I do have another tent, technically, as well. Yep, we have one more tent. I can go back and... It is a new stratum. The only objective is survival. Upper echelon of the Adventure Guild. Let's go for the Red Moon. I will step inside and then immediately leave. Oh, and Rem, what up, Dean Eradicate? 
Oh, that? Your thing for, like, trying to make me get the conditional? We have to beat him when we're probably at low HP or something, right? Beat it with only one person to my left, maybe? Like Solar Gem 1v1? Single challenger? Yeah, fuck that. Not happening. Wait. I know this place. Fuck. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm gonna try one encounter, maybe. Work your way through the new stratum that seems so reminiscent of the deep blue ocean's floor. As you, uh, as you look this way and that in wonderment, your gaze al alights on a figure before you. You are the Red Moon Guilds, yes? So you've bested Nama. Your strength is considerable. But I suggest you cast aside any frivolous notions that you are strong enough for this stratum. This is the Undersea Grotto. Somewhere here lies clues to the deep city that sunk long ago. None have found them yet. Worse, many more explorers have vanished here, compared to the realm above. Understand that the dangers here are far beyond anything you face in the first stratum. Uh, Kajura then turns to the north and motions for you to look in that direction as well. I leave you with this last piece of advice. Do you see that pillar of light? You look in the direction Kajura indicates to see a pillar of light that rises to the heavens. That is a submagnetic pole. Its workings are unknown, but it will allow you to travel freely between the labyrinth and the town. Perhaps it's some remnant of the Deep City's old technology. We have no way of knowing. What we may be sure of is that it is useful. Remember it during your travels in this stratum. The young man then nods to you before taking his leave. You want to resume your journey? But the sub, uh, submagnetic pole may warrant a closer look. Let's go!